Hello again. Uh, for those who didn't catch the first video, I'm Tom Whiteford, a seminarian for the Diocese of Erie, and I'm lifting the veil, if you will, on uh, what seminary life is like. <clears throat> and this talk in particular is going to revolve around what the purpose of seminary is and some of the structure that's present, at least within the U.S. system. So the, the basic purpose of seminary is to form men both intellectually and spiritually with the intention of one day, God willing, ordaining them to the priesthood. So let's break that down. One of the common words and thoughts throughout uh, used in seminary talk is the, the phrase formation or to form. And it's like in a way, um, whenever an artist forms clay into a particular sculpture. So the seminary seeks to form men into entering more fully into being the men that God is calling them to be. Um, the goal isn't a, a cookie cutter approach. You know, <laughs> believe me whenever I tell you that the 70 men that I live with here at St. Mary's are all incredibly unique. Um, rather, the focus is on letting the Holy Spirit, through the help of the faculty and the spiritual director and the, the various um, things that we have going on here, that form you into the man that God desires you to be. Is it instantaneous? Hardly. Rather, seminary formation is aimed at growing in the love of God, discerning if God is actually calling uh, this young man to the priesthood, and in growing in the knowledge and of the whys and the wherefores of what the church teaches and, and why she does. It takes place over several years. Um, <clears throat> the standard uh, length of time it would take if you're coming straight out of high school, it would be eight to nine years. If you have a college degree prior, it would be six to seven years, just depending on where you're at. So a little more, <clears throat> excuse me, a little more on the structure that is used. Seminary is separated into two separate phases, major seminary and minor seminary. Um, minor seminary is dedicated uh, primarily to philosophical studies, um, which is essential to any type of further theological study. Um, I've had numerous seminarians tell me, I don't need philosophy, just let me study theology. Well, Philosophy provides the foundation for everything which is rooted in the mind. Ethics, theology, even the study of the natural sciences are built upon a philosophical system. So the church wants seminarians to be educated in this because it leads so, uh, so strongly into the theological studies. Um, but this is only one of the pillars of formation that I referenced last video. Um, the areas of uh, focus and formation, the four areas are the intellectual life, which I mentioned with the studies, the spiritual life, human formation, and pastoral formation. Basically, the building up of knowledge, the growing closer to God in prayer, the maturing into being a true man of God, and then learning how all of this applies in a pastoral setting. These are all the focus of formation with varying emphases depending on how far you are along in the process. And I'll address each one in later videos. And lastly, the seminary helps with discernment. Um, discernment is merely the task, merely the task, of trying to figure out what God is calling you to do. And in this case, in seminary, it's determining if God is calling the gentleman to be a priest. And frankly, this can only be known through prayer and through learning to listen uh, to the voice of God. Um, and, and how the spirit continues to move you. You know, spiritual direction helps uh, the focus on uh, prayer and life. It continues to bring the mind and the heart back to bear on God, letting him to move you as he wills. In short, <laughs> in short, he'll let you know. Um, so that's kind of a, an overview of the purpose of the seminary. And, and how it functions with those four pillars of formation. And I'll be diving more into what the typical day of a seminarian is in the next video. So until next week, God bless.